2.2.2 continues our journey through this product analysis, now moving into looking at how do we actually produce this product. So there's a lot of different ways for manufacturing products. Um, through this presentation, students are going to learn, through this activity, students are going to learn that there are systems that we set up where we make millions of the same thing. Say, for example, maybe a cookie line um, or some sort of calculator or computer. Um, or there's processes where we make a few of them, right? where it's a specialty design. Um, or maybe we make one and we actually build the thing around the plant. So when we're making a cruise liners or something to that effect, they're not necessarily going to be made inside of a shop, but you're going to be building within the cruise. All right. So they're going to take the product that they had, and they're asking questions. They're trying to figure out how, do, where do these materials come from? Where do we get them from? And how do they take these raw materials and turn them into this final product? That's the whole basis of this manufacturing process. This also ties really well into SIM, where students learn a lot about that manufacturing process. So when students take computer integrated manufacturing, um, they end up learning a good bit more about this. So this presentation introduction to the manufacturing process is pretty large and elaborate. It, you're going to find out that it has 46 slides. And when the students see that, they're going to find out that there's too many slides for them to care about. So we have to break this up. We have to come up with other ways to show this and showcase this, showcase this so that students have an awareness of how things are manufactured and what different ways that we, we manipulate materials um, with the different systems. Are. Okay. So one of the things I do highlight on here is when we look at products, so I produce and I get a sneaker. How much of the money actually goes into the production of that sneaker versus advertising for it, paying the employees? You know, how much is the actual material cost? It, it should be significantly less than uh, what it ends up costing for the whole process. So as we reduce the cost of one of these different categories here, we can reduce the overall cost of, of producing that material and increase our profits, which is always what a company is looking to do. Um, there was an example that I had in one of the trainings before where it was a local bakery and the university was actually asked to come in and look at the recipe, you know, look at the recipe for their bread and say, how can we make, uh, how can we cut costs on this? Uh, and they were looking at the machinery, looking at how to speed the process up. Do you make more at a time? Do you increase the oven size? And then eventually it came down to just cutting a little bit of the ingredients and finding out in the end there wasn't a big difference in taste or flavor or the size of the actual product. So when you're making hundreds of thousands of bread, loaves of bread, when you cut just a small fraction of the flour, let's say, for example, you're saving a huge cost over the course of the year. So it's interesting to look at engineering as something that could come down to a recipe, um, when it, how to create a better way of doing that. So. We do have different manufacturing processes. We have some engineering disciplines that um, work with this. Um, there are definitely more than just the three here, but these are the three that they focus on. And they go through and they talk about the different setups and what makes them these different setups. Why would you have this versus having another one? So the different setups are obviously very important, um, but I don't go through this slide by slide by slide because again, it's just a little bit too much for them at one point. So I try to like have them go out and do a little bit of research on their own. So they can go out to one of the things that I have them do is watch a few um, how it's made videos. So if you look at these how it's made videos, there's tons of different uh, just looking through the manufacturing process from get from the beginning to the end and how they actually produce that stuff. And I think it's a really important thing for the students. Uh, if you've never made something, how do you design something new? You can design something that's elaborate and this this massively highly effective product, but you can't ever make it, right? If it's not a um, something that's physically possible of being made. So it's good to have an understanding or at least a, a small grasp of how things are produced and looking at machinery. So the second half of this presentation goes over these different processes. So looking at how do we form material? How do we take the raw goods and turn them into that final product? And we look at most of our, our material manipulating as a subtractive process, meaning that we're taking something larger and we're cutting away from it. We're chipping away from it. We're drilling through it. We're, we're slicing it in half. 
Um, but we also have an additive process we call rapid prototyping. So we're building something up by you know heating these plastics together and, and rapidly uh, building up layers in order to produce something. So they go through and they show a bunch of different uh, examples of these different processes. Um, and again, if you went through all these slides at once, it's just too much material. So it's good to kind of spread this out. Along with this in the curriculum, there are some uh, expert videos um, the students have access to. Some of them are a little bit dated, but a lot of the, the things that they're doing doesn't really change. So this comes from the Society of Manufacturing Engineers. Um, the students can go through here and watch these different videos and kind of see how things are produced. And again, YouTube is your friend here. You can find some more up-to-date videos um, that are probably maybe a little bit more effective. All right, so that's your manufacturing 2.2 um, activity.